Okay, here's the issue. The color of my bullets don't match the text color. Or the color of my numbers don't match either. How do I fix this? Take a look at this example here, and you're going to see that the red bullets don't match the black text, and it's not an easy fix until you know the secret. So let's use this power tip and power up. Here we go with another power tip quick learning video, this time recoloring bullets and numbers. We're going to find that often when we look at a plain presentation, everything looks just grand with our bullets and our numbering matching color wise with our line items. But if we go into designs and make a change there, the lines and the numbering of bullets no longer match. And you can see this varies from design to design. So is the design that changes those items on us? Well, let's go see if we can fix that. I'm going to choose a very specific line, this case line number two, We'll highlight it and we'll choose a wild color just so that we can see the difference. I'm going to go in there and change it to red and that didn't fix our bullets or numbering. That is still green. Well, how are we going to do this? The trick here is to go back into our home menu under home. We're going to drop down list for either bullet and numbers. In this case, it's numbered. We're going to choose a bullet and number list. And in here, we're going to find the magical change dialog box under color. Let's go in here and change it to match the line item. When we click on OK, our numbering and our fonts match. OK, let's do it again and get the whole set of line items to match the same colors. I'll go in there. We'll choose bullet and numbering. I'm going to now go in there and choose a color. We'll choose black and get everything to go from green to black. And now the numbering and the line items match except for the one red line that we changed ourselves. So here's how we do it. We go line by line by line and do it. Whoa, no, 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 no. We're not going to do it line by line or slide by slide. There is a much better way to do this. And the trick to this is something called master slides. We do have a deeper dive into this specific topic. Look for the video link up at the top to be able to go to that. But for the time being, we're going to go to view. We're going to go into something called the slide master within there. The concept is once you make changes here, it will flow through the whole presentation. So we're going to select all five lines. We're then going to go into home and follow our same techniques to go to our bullet points and fonts. Let's change the fonts so that they all look the same here. They're all red, but the bullets are now still green. It's not Christmas. So let's go in there and change those by doing our bullet drop down list. We're going to choose a color and choose the same matching color. And now our fonts and our bullet points match. Now the magic is going to take place when we close this out because it's going to flow through the presentation. We'll go to slide master. We'll choose close view master. And from here, we're going to see that on our slides, everything matches just the way we want. To. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is not quite right. Oh, I remember this is the slide that we changed by hand. So we need to go back in there and choose reset slide for it to go and follow the settings from our slide master. And now we're good to go. This is pretty slick. And you now know how to take care of your bullet and numbering coloring problems. And as a bonus, watch what happens when we highlight these line items and switch them from bullets to numbering. I'm going to highlight them. We'll go up and change it to numbering, and we'll see that now we have a number list with the exact same colors for the fonts and for the numbers. This is super. Oh, that was so easy once you knew where to look. If you want other quick tips from Power Up Training, do subscribe below. Subscriptions help greatly. And if you like the video, give it thumbs up because likes encourages me to make more videos for you. If you have a very specific topic that you'd like for me to cover, go ahead and leave the recommendations in the comments below. And lastly, if you want to become a power user in PowerPoint, Take a look for our six part masterclass that will take you from the very beginning of creating the presentation all the way to standing up on stage and delivering a blockbuster presentation. Until then, power up.